Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this is part 2 of chest x-ray anatomy. The uppermost part of the lungs are the apices. Lung apex lies above the inferior margin of the clavicle that is the collarbone. It is an important location and needs to be reviewed because some pathologies occur in this region. Mediastinum is the space between the lungs in the midline of the chest. The trachea, esophagus, thymus, heart, major blood vessels, phrenic and cardiac nerves, lymph vessels and lymph nodes are all part of the mediastinum. These are the locations of the jugular veins. The internal jugular vein will be deeper in the neck and the external jugular vein will be superficial. This is the location. The course of subclavian veins will be behind the clavicle on both sides on x-ray. The subclavian artery is also in this region. Here are the brachiocephalic veins. The left brachiocephalic vein has a longer course because it goes from left to right to drain into the superior vena cava. The right brachiocephalic vein is shorter and has a more lateral course. Paraortic line is formed by the wall of the thoracic aorta and the descending aorta. Paraspinal line is seen on the right side of the patient. We can see this border of the thoracic spine. This small knob is the azygous vein. It is usually on the opposite side of the aortic knob. A zygoesophageal line is formed by the interface of the right lower lobe, a zygous vein and the esophagus. It is also called a zygoesophageal recess. The cardiophrenic angle is the angle between the heart and the diaphragm. There are two cardiophrenic angles. This is the right cardiophrenic angle and this is the left cardiophrenic angle. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.